My name's Duke Nukem. This is KTIT. K Tit. Playing the breast are the best tunes in town. Ooh, your ass is grass. And I've got the weed whacker. Okay, hello, good morning everyone, Fractured Filter here, back, finally, finally, finally back for some more Night Sealed Republic 2. And I'm now a little annoyed, I thought I had everything set on this, the UI I was uh, messing around with, and now I'm seeing stuff missing, I'm so, god dang it, silly thing, anywho. Um, that aside, hello, good morning, welcome, let's get this party started, and me dying, as if Spartacus happens in, I do die a bit, but, uh, here we go. I was like, wait a minute, I was like, looking at the save file, I got confused for a second, I was like, it's... Why does it say Telos rest rest uh, Restore Zone when I'm looking at it? I'm like, wait a minute, I was pretty sure on Nar Shaddaa, and I see I'm on Nar Shaddaa. The game is, I get, I'm probably one of the old save files I just saved over it. 
but it still is just like, what the heck? You old bitch. Okay. Don't mind me, folks. Just looting your shit. Oh! Uh... Hello there. Let's make an extra little save here. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Not a very good idea. Entering a Mandalorian's room uninvited. Why don't you back up to the point where you were standing outside the door and rethink your decision? Oh, well, what's the fun in that? <laughs> a Mandalorian with a sense of humor? There are a few of us in the galaxy. Yeah, what do you want? I'm just poking around. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'm glad we didn't have to come to blows. That's good. That's good. Hi guys. What's up? So they're wondering where their captain is. Gotcha. Well, don't mind me. I'm just taking that a uh, nice little belt there. It is basically RPG law to loot, loot everything. I have to go through each and every room. Uh, I keep finding all sorts of stuff going on around these parts. Matukai adapt robes. Oh. kind of funny how you have gear that this Baudur will not be able to uh, equip whatsoever. Just because of that, that arm situation. Jedi defense, defense bonus one, constitution two, dexterity two, strength two, medica adepts are masters of guiding their bodies with the force. They are capable of astounding physical feats. Medica are a group of force sensitives who use their physical body to channel the force. Balance the balance of the physical and spiritual is a cornerstone of their philosophy. Oh. Ah, but that gel sh gel shade advisor armor is just it's got too many extra stuff for it. <laughs> I'm just checking around the area, sir. <sighs> Can I ask what you're doing? I just want to know what you're doing. Looks interesting. So again, back to what are you doing? And what does all this do? Tennis for what, sir? Tracking a signal among the dock seat frequency seems impossible. There are ways I can help you with that problem. Hello over on Twitch. Got it. Angel over there. How's it going? Uh, oh, uh, does it. Uh... Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. 
Uh, how long should we talk? Whoa, what am I at answering here? I looked away for one moment. How did you find it? Us, to Mukarata, May Ranganoroto, Dosima na Rachata, Croton or Ranga Manatandi Groto, Mopiduna. Got Cult the Carl of RNG Podcast over on the YouTube side. How's it going, sir? Saying fractured, my boy. How are you doing today? I am doing quite well. Finally getting back to some Kotor 2 and talking to Mr. Bith here. I was going to say something inappropriate, but I decided to be nice. Who's behind it? Even though I'm not really paying attention. Jonathan uh, says on Twitch, I just tend to watch where people have less watchers for so. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Yeah, definitely want to try and get the attention over on Twitch as I can, just to help boost the. I think I have to like. Cause I'm like I've got all that oh, those silly requirements I think for. Elliot or whatever. Uh, but just not like. People chatting and stuff from there, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, is there any, uh... <laughs> I'll check it out if the price is right. I may be a bum former Jedi, but I dang it. Well, I guess I'm a bum for I just called myself a bum former Jedi, so I need the monies. What's the job? I'm interested. Rotono Junsa Raka Roto Minsu Kun Rakawata Boindo Rakamana Sobu. Where were you supposed to meet this Twilik? Kawana Abawasi Poilon three, I Ah, more of the alien speakers. I'm not from the Dog Authority. What do you mean? Uh, let me see if I can help. I'll go see the dog master. I saw view of what was that? Um, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, awareness out of curiosity. What was your? Cryogenic power cells. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, it's Carl. This is my personal. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. I'm about ready to just sort of like, all right, I got to open the app really quick. Take a look to see the name. Much appreciated. And uh, Angela Finham said, uh, never going back to YouTube. Even if a gun and ban are involved, they'll never take me alive. <laughs> Understandable. I just, I just, because uh, I use Restream, I just whore myself around. To, so I've got, I've got us live here on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, Rumble, and Odyssey. So I cover a lot of different bases with the with the restream, which is the definitely the nice benefit of having five places. Yeah, yeah, kick as well. Did I say did I say kick or no? I forget. Can you help me? I'll give you one. Sweet. I'll let you know when it happens, brother. But yeah, kick it if you're uh, unfamiliar with kick. Kick is basically like a another twi kind of a Twitch clone. Uh, there's another kind of alternative platform to all the others. Uh, 
Those are just kind of the ones that I keep. Uh, I don't know who you are. Keep myself centered to. Wrong room to break into. I didn't know no, anyone no was in here. Done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Now over on kick as well. More tism. All of the tism. Uh, Carl said, only go exclusive if they pay pay you six figures, never sell out for less. Exactly. Exactly. I'll watch on all platforms and on Odyssey too, says Angel. Thank you. Much like again, appreciate it. Just I guess not the YouTube side, right? <laughs> My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar hey, A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track her down. Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find her. I've been here for weeks. Hoping to All right, so I just saw the, the Odyssey message. I just time. wish Restream would connect to... Uh, uh, to Odyssey and to Rumble, but unfortunately it won't, so I can't see the chat. I have to have the extra windows. And now I see Angel's <laughs> message over on Rumble as well. Let's go. So pumped. Tism goes on forever. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, Carl saying Angel's is the homie stand-up guy. Happy that he stuck with it. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Uh, why can't you get the exchange has got the place barricaded with thugs. They're putting the squeeze on the whole sector, trying to crush the spirit out of the remaining. Well, yeah, like it is. All now, I'm almost cleaned out. I burned. I'll collect where I can. My freight just if it gets to that point, that'll be the exchange. It'll be pretty sweet. Job shuttling freight via cargo cruiser, and I'm close to taking them up on it. <sighs> I don't, and that's the most frustrating thing. How do you know she's still alive? Sometimes, sometimes I'm just sure she's still alive, somewhere. Angel says on kick, note, sometimes when you follow people on kick, the follow button doesn't disappear until you refresh. Oh, okay. I may be able to get into yeah. the refugee sector for you. Gonna cost me? Nothing. I'd just like to help well, if I can. I'm not going to turn away an offer of help. I'm All a stranger. good boy. If you can find her, then you'll have my thanks. Uh, let's see. All right, then. I'll be going now. More of the... Uh, more of the missions acceptable. Carl saying, also, Fracture, whenever you want to come back on, let me know. Open door policy if it's tism about something else. Hell yeah, dude. I love the tisms. Um, I mean, you know you know my day. Uh, I've told you, like, the specific days I, I'm always available, so. Uh, Crimson Raptor, hey, how's it going, man? Saying, finally, some Star Wars worth watching. Hope you're doing well, brother. I am, and I hope you're doing well as well. Uh, but yeah, we're actual proper Star Wars. Uh, none of this goofy, weird shit that uh, Disney's pumping out there. All right, Angel's just covering all the bases. Got this on Odyssey, Kick, Rumble, and Twitch. I humbly and grateful and thankful. Thank you so much. That is really awesome that you're doing that. Appreciate it. Uh, have premium on all, so all the ad monies. Noise, noise. Not Kick. It doesn't have premium yet. That. Uh, yeah. I mean, Kick is certainly. They've been growing their platform. They've had a few road bumps here or there, but they, they've been getting getting things going. It's just funny now how many there are these days. Just can't do ads, they bro. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Ads can be very annoying.
All right, I've talked to everyone in here. Time to get out of this little area. Uh, let's see, was it the third pylon? Which I think is down here. Beautiful says it uh, helps to have options, man. Uh, we basically had only YouTube and Twitch for like ever. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh, looks like the Jedi raised their standards. Hello there. Looks like you're not alone. No, I am not. Ugh, how many Jedi are on this moon anyway? Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I've told you before hunt your own targets, don't scavenge mine. <laughs> What, working for the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough uh -oh. to slip off this moon. <laughs> Angel said, I'll pay, I'll pay you big tech, man. Just leave my sweet ass alone. <laughs> that's, all we all, that's all any of us ask for. Just leave us the freak alone, man. We're here to enjoy things. Just leave. Don't, Hanhar. I'm warning you. <laughs> I don't want your life debt, Hanhar. I told you. Yeah, you're right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if you keep crushing me, I'll accidentally set off my rocket charges and blow us both to now. <laughs> <laughs> Carl on Twitch saying zero out of ten that Wookie doesn't have the SJW haircut. I don't feel represented. This is triggering me. <laughs> oh god! I when I first when I first noticed that too with the acolyte Wookie, I'm just like, are you kidding me? They're like, and they're trying to do like the weird like monk top knot haircut samurai thing but it just looks silly on a goddamn wookie like that it's like why why bother why try why you try and give him like the weird like almost like fryer tuck look thing You're like what the hell dude Oh no, Twilight's dead. It must be the contact you were supposed to meet. The body has been stripped of the package you were here to buy. Uh oh. Maneuvering flaps. All right. You're a bad droid. You're a bad, bad droid. This will teach you. Oh, well, so much for the toilet. Then Beautiful says, give them some credit. They found a way to make Wookiees lame. I know, right? And was uh, I found particularly funny. I watched the newest episode too. Out of all of the people. So we ha we've had Finn that survived the lightsaber slashing across the back. Sabine Wren survived the lightsaber stabby stab. Um, God, who I know, I know there's others that have survived lightsaber stabbings now, but it's like, We've had all these other examples, but the Wookiee gets the slash across the chest and is dead. It's like, okay. So of all the times you're gonna actually let a lightsaber be dangerous, it's it's on the poor Wookiee. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Reva. Reva surviving not only as a child, a youngling, surviving the lightsaber stabbing, but then as an adult as well. And then, yes, the Grand Inquisitor. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you for reminding me of that trash heap. I try and forget the Kenobi show, but thank you. Uh, because, yeah, the, I mean, all these examples. Of, and poor Qui-Gon also. So Qui-Gon and the Wookiee do not get to survive lightsaber stabbings. Uh, Angel says, negative one out of ten, no space scissoring. 
Didn't you know the force is unshaved lesbo <laughs> girl boss? <laughs> Oof. Uh, Crimson Raptors beginning the, the, the witch chant power of one. Oh God, here we go. What have I done? I just love it. It's just funny though at the end of the day because it's just like the damage that they are doing to the brand is just hilarious. And then it, it is just them weirdly like it, it's just playing into I and I put I put I was kind of trolling a little bit. I was uh, I, I posted the clip of Sam Witwer saying the whole um, the campfire tales and that's how George did it and Dave Filoni is expl was explaining that to him that that's how it is it's all all these tall tales being told blah 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 from the from another point of view um but <laughs> I just kind of like see guys it, it's, it's totes okay that this is happening uh Angel over on Odyssey said did you know that you could post gifts in Odyssey chat I did not I did not know that. That's actually pretty cool that they allow that. I was unawares. Uh, beautiful saying on Twitch. Fuck, fuck, now I'm mad. Wookiees are tough, but the squishy humans can take a beating, LOL. <laughs> it's just certain ones, remember that. Just certain ones are allowed to take the beatings. I mean, we just, we also saw uh, Carrie Ann Moss's Jedi take a, take a small, kunai knife to the chest and died go figure i'm sure i mean i'm sure if it was a lightsaber she would have survived she would have been okay uh now should i you met a man named lutra why i found a thorian okay oh look at that yeah angel just posted a <laughs> vader gif on uh, odyssey your destiny lies with me skywalker uh, that's aw that's awesome that they can do that. Uh oh, Crimson Raptor on YouTube continuing the chant. Power of two now. Oh boy, oh boy. Beautiful say on Twitch saying, uh, yeah, that part confused because she's a she's a whammons. The whammons. They get all the livable. Wait, where where am I supposed to go now? Oh man, I think now I'm supposed to I can go back there and start the whole thing. Uh, and women have a special ability to take lightsabers through major organs and live. Yes. Yeah. And li like it was magically survive even as a child with little to uh, little to little to no force force training. Really? Uh, you get to just survive that shit. And you ask yourself, but why? But apparently it's just called, well, fuck you. That's why I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Crimson Raptor saying the power of many thread whipping lesbian witches. That's right. You better believe it. Damn thread whipping lesbian witches. You know, and you know, last I knew we had a, there was supposed to be an intimacy consultant, intimacy consultant for this show. And all we've gotten is a topless suit. Like I'm, a, I am expect, was it how, how did static put us some clam slamming? Like, come on. Give us at least something for the pain. A beautiful thing. Oh man, I have a joke I'm going to save next time you're on. <laughs> All right, so pumped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Angel saying, Force bitches are ready to eat. The force is created where two claims meet. Now I'm banned. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Exit six left. <laughs> that is fantastic. 
Well, now, the funny thing is, too, that's what I've started doing on um, on my thumbnails when I've clipped out uh, segments from um, uh, from Saturday Night Sith. So if you've if you've seen the thumbnails where it's involving Leslie Headland, uh, especially recently, like I've done, I've only started doing this with the most recent two, and I'll keep it and keep doing it in the future if I have if if more of these subjects get clipped, is that I do put two. Oh, I, I've started to put two clams that are that are, uh, that are scissoring each other in the corner, and then I have the uh, silhouette faded uh, look of um, of her former boss uh, Harvey Weinstein in the background of her, always right behind her, right over her shoulder. <laughs> I may even retroactively go back to my other thumbnails and update them with with him with him and in the, the clan and the clams uh to be part of the uh thumbnails uh okay log out power set to one <laughs> Carl, you ain't wrong there, buddy. Uh, saying Leslie looks like the model for M Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2. Yup. Yup. Uh, it certainly has the jaw for it and everything. Ooh, full signature. Look at that. That's the kind of thing. I forget what the heck I'm supposed to do with all those pylons anyways. Uh, Angel saying, if one of the witches is an amputee, does that make it a one-armed scissor? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, uh, you know what? Yes, yes it does. Yes it does. Crimson Raptor saying, uh, how long until Disney says Shmi lied to Qui-Gon about not knowing how she conceived Anakin? Clearly she was getting it on with some witches. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the fact that they've already got a Kiati Mundi in this show that is way outside of his time frame. <laughs> Makes you wonder what, the, what else they're gonna do. What else they're gonna retcon out outside of remaking any of the trilogies uh so crimson raptor you probably ain't wrong there they're probably gonna do something like that so that would not surprise me at all beautiful saying oh god i can see that see them doing this yeah yeah 100 percent. i could see them doing that Uh, Angel saying, I'm just pr picturing Palpatine set it, sitting there watching the witches like, do it. <laughs> he's, just, he's, just, he's just using his, his Sith sorcery, uh, just watching kind of like how he, he, he popped in the, the, to the world between worlds. He's just, he's just doing that. He's just be waiting and watching. Kicks back, hits a death stick, and just enjoys the shows. <laughs> uh, Carl saying, Wikipedia will be like, OMG, guys, Star Wars was always gay. Look, Anakin had two mo- Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really the time to start keeping a real, you know, uh, scrutin, uh, a real eye of detail on that, on that damn website. They're going to be changing so much shit (laughs) 
So I think they were even uh, either scrubbing or doing some some uh, Janny work on the on the Kiati Mundi stuff last night with all that stuff dropping. So keep a close eye on on the details. But then that's at least like I I uh, I shared a, a open airlock policy on Twitter on X. He he shared some like. The like actual like physical like car stat cards and stuff that he had that gave like information. So having stuff like the the uh, the official source books and everything that is gonna be really really important. Yeah, Carl, I'm with you. I hate this timeline too. Is the timeline keeps get, especially it's like it seems like for YouTubers too right now. The timeline is just getting darker and fucking darker. You interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? Damn Toydarians. You gotta watch them. My boss is the hot Voga. Angel I saying that uh, the they'll have to edit Voga's their brain run brain. animations in Star Wars games to add a little limp for all the blown O-rings. <laughs> oh no. Why is he nude? I don't know. I I think he, it, they're treating it like an Alf Wookie thing. Like they they can just run around without clothes. They don't need it. It's just like an accessory for them. You not from here? Business bad. Freighters Business get bad. Freighters oh no. Through, and they can't get fuel from Sleheron. Fuel reserves building up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, who's hijacking the Goto freighters? and his exchange hijacks Voga's ships. Hurts business. So why is Goto doing this? For money, I assume. We don't know how he does it. Every ship we send out, he gets. <laughs> Angel saying, you know, notice my nudity because of my little hat. Exactly. <laughs> Carl saying, fun fact, this race was inspired by Greeks because George Lucas hates Greeks. I thought it's another group, but I mean I hear I hear different things. Fine, but you hurry up. I have a lot to do. Why you care about exchange, huh? Because they're after me. I don't think so. Damn it! Go to not hire many humans. You want to waste my time? Don't flatter me. <laughs> Damn! What do you want to know about exchange? Why you speak with exchange, huh? No matter. You do not decide when to speak to them. Exchange decide to speak to you, but best you keep hidden and not speak with Exchange. You not want their attention, I think, huh? Hey, Static, saying, <laughs> who's saying, what up, Fig? Celebrating Juneteenth, I see. I, I don't understand what jibber jabber you're talking about, fool. But, you know, just talking to a, to a an only hat wearing toy Darian. This isn't at, at all weird. Not in the least. Don't you get, dare get any weird ideas now. Uh, Carl saying no, no, the trade federation was inspired by that group. It's why they wore the funny hat. No, no, no. Trade federation, depending on who you're talking about, <laughs> the Munes. Now the Munes. <laughs> Might be more related to the to the small to the to certain hat folk when you start looking into their credit ratings, but I feel like them and the Toydarians are very similar in that regards. But I think like the Nymoidians, at least in the Trade Federation sense, what we saw, we're supposed to be kind of in the realm of the Japanese a bit. But also, people have said that about the the Chiss.
Carl's loving <laughs> love this conversation. Yeah, nothing better than speaking in code. Angel saying, in new games, this guy would be colored like a rainbow and remind you of Pride Month. And uh, if I, uh, I'd be, I'd be immediately told about his specific pronouns of Zers, they, them's. I guess that goes hand in hand with the whole Pride Month BS. Damn, droids ignoring me. Oh, I missed what that was. It was like Mandalorian something. Like, am I being cool? We have the best conversations. Only the best here. So both Georges ignore me. If I could, I'd cut them down for ignoring me. How dare they? You don't ignore a character with a beard like mine. Look at that. You don't ignore that. Static saying, I have to clean out my freezer today. It broke and everything inside of it rotted. I'm procrastinating for some reason. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, dude, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. And that's, I, 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 my, my procrastination is not to the level of involving food, but like I've been procrastinating, like cleaning up around my desk and wiping everything down and getting it all like neat and tidy again. Cause I've gotten kind of a mess around my desk again. Spartacris, how's it going? Saying, hey folks, hello. I haven't died yet, just to get ahead of you in case you ask. I haven't died yet. I haven't gotten into a major fight just yet. I've only destroyed one droid, but I survived that okay. But no death yet. Crimson Raptor saying, clean out the freezer and spend hundreds of gro hundreds on groceries or watch the acolyte. You're coming out on top, my guy. <laughs> Static saying, it hasn't stunk, stunk up the garage yet, but once I open up that lid, I'm fucked. Oh no. Have any, uh, have any good masks laying around still? And then saying, I stopped watching the Acolyte and replacing all those, all those stakes is going to be a much more on great. Oh boy. Better not, <laughs> Spartacus saying, better not die or uh, that will be $10. What? When did monetary things start coming into this? Oh, 
He's like a fast talking alien too. At least it sounds that way. I forget if I'm even supposed to be doing this just yet, but here we go. Saborako. Ograkin unchupa gratui kile jani. Nauchi kachi ayubonta mana matoya. Angel saying I'm waiting for games to start charging you to save. I have a me I have a meme too where it's, it's kind of alluding to like that of uh, an EA controller and this is like asking for your credit card for like DLC and stuff like that. Uh, static saying LO will get good tax. <laughs> That'd be kind of an interesting like a charity thing to do if you're uh, and then like play like a Dark Souls or something like that and even like however often you get killed you add your own like you know, funds to uh, funds to the charity fund and stuff like that. That could be kind of a kind of an a way of doing it if you if you've uh, built yourself up and all that. Spartaker saying, apparently, I'm a I'm a toxic fan for saying fans should gatekeep fandoms against bad at faith actors. I'm as bad as Anakin or the climate activists who destroy works of art. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Considering what, how quickly any of us get labeled bad or toxic fans or whatever the fuck, uh, it's not surprising. Crimson Raptor saying price doubles after every death. Oof. I don't know about that one, boyo. On Rumble, Angel is saying I miss the days when you didn't have to uh, have to play detective to make sure a girl was a girl. <laughs> LOL. Right? Uh, you really have to keep an eye on, uh, you know, body compositions and everything like that from the shoulders to the arms, to the chins. I mean, uh, the facial structure sadly is a little tough sometimes more so now than ever, but, uh, those other areas don't lie. Uh, and then saying anyone else think that, uh, aliens mouth look like a butthole. If you're talking about the Bith, yes, yes, I, I, I almost said that earlier, but I, uh, I held back. Carl saying, I'm literally the Germans from the 30s, 40s, depending on who is mad at me, LOL. And uh, she, she got an Adam's apple. She's an Adam. <laughs> exactly. That is the main key identifier.
Ki Gratum, Nong Yomano Oong, Boot Maria Kuban, Yomayo Yoba. Uh huh, sure, sure, slug. The only good hut's a dead hut in my book, but unfortunately, I don't have that option in this game. Yumbola, Chichis Cabula, Tapicha Yubon, Yumbola. What a great dog, Jimulia. Need you dunk and now. Spider Chris said, uh, and that was from someone who says they are on our side and says being a gatekeeper affirms that they call us, even though they call us uh, that anyways, to make us let them in. What was that, freaking lofty pixels or some shit? Who did that? It's the problem with like, you have these people too, that'll get like, so, so wrapped up and making sure we aren't being as bad as they are sort of, sort of nonsense. So they get all wrapped up and then like, yeah, we can't, can't geek keep that hard guys. Come on. You got to tone it down a bit. Don't go so hard. And this is called no fuck that. Fuck you and fuck them. Uh, they're trying to get into, into the. The, into the, our hobbies and shit like that to mess with everything, you know, you keep them out for doing that sort of crap. Like it, it's a, it sounds like the sort of goofy shit he said before, but uh, Sparker saying, "Nope, someone else." Gotcha. I'm basically like repeating some of this. Oh, well, let me just get through this really quick. Uh, let's see. Chichis Cabula, Tapicha Yubon, Yumbola, Lula Binog, Ahua Tabula Chikili, Jumaida, Bot Maya Lechona Chichiska, Una Corda Sapa. Oh, okay, thanks, Sparta. I got to know. Truth be told, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that name around on on uh, on X or whatever. So I'm unfamiliar with them. But I mean, yeah, if you have people that are. Uh, being wishy-washy uh fence riders and shit like it's not nah, you gotta it, one it's time to take take a freaking side in all this and you know yeah if they're they're being twat waffles okay i'll take a look at that i'll take a look at it since he said it's a long conversation i'll take a look at it afterwards but uh we we know the groups that are causing this trouble it's called yeah you know, keep them the fuck out. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't see where <laughs> static saying there is no moral complexity behind gatekeeping. However, it's not about not being as bad as the other side It's about making sure when it need to fight, you don't compromise your own morals. And Spartacus says, uh, we went back and forth for about an hour or so. Oh, fun. Well, it's, it, it is. It's just a simple thing. Like, like you say, stack, standing your ground on the matters. And, you know, if there are people that are trying to still allow in 
uh, bad changes, bad conversations on the matter and stuff like that. It's like, well, sorry. <laughs> you don't have the best interest of, you know, keeping, keeping and adhering to that, the particular fandom and shit. Spider Chris saying, if you are genuinely honest and want to join, you're welcome. And if you're coming in and saying things need to change for social reasons or personal feelings, get out. It's as simple as that, too. You do, though, have to still be a little aware. I mean, I always, it's always like, you know, uh, kind of like the trust but verify sort of sort of slogan of, yeah, you can let let the people in that are, are you know, as you say, wanting to join for this for to, you know, be part of it. But you Sometimes you'll have to keep your eye on some people because sometimes they will just use that as an in and then later down the line try and change things, especially if they get into seats of power. But they, but I guess that kind of is the point. It's like they aren't always... They'll do that later on. And it's called once you do start that nonsense, you get the boot. Spartacus, uh, but I don't own, quote, own Star Wars and I'm being divisive. No, it's just drawing a simple line and not letting people cross it. Everybody's so willing to compromise on bullshit. It's like, no, fuck that. Hey, Hitman, how's it going, dude? Force choke them all. I'm doing a light side playthrough. I can't force choke everyone. Kavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwan Jiuma Hey BDJ, how's it going? Saying like the damn stream, nerds. Please do, please do. Uh, Angel Fim on Odyssey said, "When in doubt, use some use use some much bleach you have to leave the room for at least thirty minutes." Oh, that's for the cleaning stuff. Angel Fim then says, "How I clean my bathroom? It's a good way to go about it." What happened here, Twilik? Bornachi nin so pa maranka wongo kumbiast. Tonga buga shame sa nini chonka ichi terarita sabata. Tiumpe, doe punta crita, zino mulera ni bono. Chiret corangata in kuntanga, vai kere votawa, ya toca ulwan. Cavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa, bo bagaragawanda, ya itua ulwan ziuma. Muliwrawa Iberendia Tia Wishnu Nu Uh but what happened to your friend here? He's in no state to have a conversation. Alright. I I was wondering what I walked in on. <clears throat> uh Spartacur says, Oh, and I'm being a hypocrite too because i think a fandom is a group of people who share mutual respect and love for each other and the material but i think we should geek keep against bad faith actors huh uh hitman saying it's it's like uh it's like the people who say pineapple belongs on people Uh, Hitman, you might want to correct that. <laughs> hmm. 
Static thing, I have to empty it first. Oof. Right, right, right. Wait, where's... I'm looking for... Where is it? The... Refugee zone. Wait, isn't he one of the bounty hunters after me? All right, Trained Ocean, what are you doing? Well, thankfully, you're not after me, dude, so I'll take that and just walk away. Hitman, okay, here we go. Hitman says it's like pineapple belongs on pizza. If the, it, it's these people that are causing the, the divisiveness in this country. <laughs> I read it again. You're not the you're the one that didn't type it out properly the first time through, so don't don't get all huffy with me now. I go where I want. No, I won't leave you alone. Huh, I thought they were going to fight me or something once I went past them. No toll paid here. Static says pineapple and pizza every day. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Hitman saying, remember when the force was actually in Star Wars? Those were the days. And it says, no. She's their jail broke and hacked my phone. He's behind it. <laughs> Hear that? She's their Hitman's butt blaming you for jail breaking his phone. Better set that boy straight in the chat. Or just let him keep going, it don't matter. This 
This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? We are. Now beat it. Okay. Now you got these damn areas divided up. Front list people. Freaking lovely. Find out what's going on. Talk to who said. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? Oh, hey, he's up. No. The overseer, Sakwesh. He took my daughter to sell to the huts. All because I told him I could not pay his tribute. I owe Sakwesh 600 credits. I, I don't have enough. Thank you. But I, uh, won't he track us down and kidnap her again? Thank you. Thank I'll you. make sure that doesn't Please happen. After the I really am the best. It will be impossible to find her. God dang all these freaking Samina nun porute mitisimin ro agorunto Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tai Ta wancha mori chiwa mufala wa ni bobo wish yo kuna sita dorcho ni sobawata Cavadumpa Munsur Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanjiuma Takometa Kablaia Justing Miki Gongo Beast Kun Grabila King of Mulara Kichi Kuta Grasa Kisha Tovre Kun Mili Wosa Slima Pogwanga Samoana Gmucha Thanks, mate. So can I just run into some aliens that speak basic? Greetings. Are you the space Other than humans? About? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the dock sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shadal. He's late. I don't know where he is. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Anor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. Spider Chris says, Be careful, Fractured. I don't think that headband can keep that inflated ego contained. What? What ego? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hitman, uh, you talking some shit up in here. Saying so, Fractured, when are you playing Helldivers? Asking for a friend. Um, never. I'm not touching that piece of shit. 
between uh, their degenerate furry problems with the community managers and them forcing uh, PlayStation Serico territory. Get out of here before we space the PlayStation crossplay bullshit when it isn't necessary. They've proved it isn't necessary, but they're forcing it on players. Um, they can go eat a dick. That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. Fine. Ease up, boyo. Don't want any trouble. Not yet, at least. Whoa, what's going on here? Kavanata Kayo. Kavanami Donkey Krato. Russia took Nulia Yakta Desa Uba Lia Jetufug. Gavadumba Munsur Kupla Liawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwan Ziuma. Yatuka Ulwan Rika Chotin Wanim Aurata Wakata Chiluma Lispa. The hell? Well, that was something goofy. Nita <laughs> Dovrekun mili wosa slima po guanga samoana gmucha. Da hupa, bosa curata, go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajia, yukito tune. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosa nansata. Da hupa, bosa curata, go jujutu yoki. Ah, some good <laughs> backstory. Wajiaki, yukito tune. Uh, Hitman then said Starfield win clearance too if you're interested. What is with you? What is wrong with you? Welcome, traveler. My name's Husef. Uh, I try to look out for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the Overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Occasionally, their thugs kidnap people and sell them into slavery with the huts. They've also hemmed us in. We used to live all throughout this area, but they've crammed us all in here now. Yeesh. If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Thanks. Good luck. I'll see what I can do. Static saying, oh, Hitman is reminding me I have a major confession to make on the show tomorrow. Oh, no. the others say really 
The others say I have the play. Well, let's see. I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. That was noble of you to help that sickly man. You put your own life at risk to save others. That's the Jedi way, baby. I admire your bravery. I'm actually surprised uh, Kray didn't immediately chastise me for that. Carl saying I sent you a demon. Just going to read it. All right, cool. I'll be sure to take a look at it. I didn't think it was. Some of these areas I could have sworn were more filled in with like the exchange goons and stuff, but. Oops, God damn it. I was wondering it was a way to to the exchange guy through one of these places. Oh, here we go. Duh. Now I'm just back into Serico thug territory. This is Serico territory. Whoa! Get out of here before we space you. Got it? That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. All right, you can go see him. Try anything, ah. and you'll never make it out. Hurry up and take care of your business. Well, stop talking to me and I'll do it. I heard you've been looking for me. Oh, hey. Boop. 
We don't need your help. Now, get out of here before I space you. You know what? I try and do a good thing. I try to help people out. Try and make things work. Yeah, and I got assholes like this. Well, that's too bad. Is that all you wanted to say? Um. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> then what would you propose me and my men do? Yeah? What about the exchange? We can hold our own against them. Not that it's your concern. Do you now? Suppose I were interested. What's this plan of yours? Uh, um, hmm. I wonder how I can get away with this best. <laughs> I want nothing but favorable outcomes here. Let's try... We'll go and make Let's have him go for the north Man. side. Let's take them out. <laughs> oh, they're making some headway. All right, go guys, go. <laughs> Static saying, all right, here, here I go. I'll be listening in the background, but if you don't hear from me in an hour, call the CDC, something has gone terribly wrong. Oh no. Best of luck to you, sir. You can do it. You can do it. While they're all out, I'll loot their shit. They'll never know. Hitman trying to say Rotten Tomatoes gave the new Assassin's Creed 93%. I'm pretty sure the game isn't out for that to happen just yet. But nice try, buddy. <laughs> ah, damn. All right, let's go see how they're doing.
Maybe I can go and give them a helping hand. Angel saying over on Rumble. Wait, you mean Rotten Tomatoes can be trusted? Imagine my surprise. Can't be trusted. Imagine my surprise. I know, right? I mean, the thing is, like, that's what I, I've, I've, I've made that point. And even with like the dislike ratio buttons and stuff like that, I was like, you know, what does any of that all really mean? Especially like, at least for like, like the downvote buttons on YouTube. It's like, who the what normies are really paying attention to that sort of thing and even has the button to see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Rotten Tomatoes have been caught so many times being dirty conniving schmucks with uh, changing at, uh, score aggregates and stuff like that. It's like, no, you can't change it. But at the same time, I understand why people will use it because the, you know, the other side, quote unquote, does take that place seriously for the most part and will weaponize it and I get and I'm all for weaponizing it against them by all fucking means do it um it is but I mean it's it, like I also get where people are just like man it's so so stupid to rely on that site because it's nothing but I mean at this point it's basically disinformation so yeah like, like I see both sides of it and I'm I don't like it's both stupid and both I understand it. It's kind of a weird thing. Hitman saying, after this episode of The Acolyte, I'm excited to see the topics of Static's Weekend pregame will be. Top Not Wookiee is trending on Twitter. <laughs> uh, Angel on Rumble saying, just like I never trusted Wiki ever, would you trust the internet to tell the truth? I mean, you know, that's 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 always a funny thing that I I'll bring up to people. It's like I remember, and I'll say I'll, I'll I'll say to people, it's like I remember, <laughs> I I remember, I remember the days when it was called you don't trust you trust anything you read on the internet. Now, unfortunately, that's just shifted, and it's called now you trust everything you read on the internet. Oh, okay. It's just funny how those sort of things have flipped uh, for the mindsets. Like, okay. Oop. Who are you? One of Backwash's calf hounds? Ooh, the ugly thug knows my name. Can it also count? What's two plus two? <laughs> Amazing. Really? Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh, sorry about those things I said to you. Oh, you do look a little like a cat hound, though. That because I'm scruffy. Oh, Goody, I was hoping I'd get to sit in this cell a little longer. You know, girly, you're lucky I can't smack you one. Or else I totally would. Static saying we're gonna talk about the woke right tomorrow. Oh, fun. A challenge. I'm curious to know how that's gonna be defined for tomorrow then. <laughs> I look forward to it.
That was weird. It like stopped me and did the weird like you heard the Gamorrean death whale or whatever, and then I wasn't able to open it. What the? What is? Let us test ourselves. That's weird. Is that it? Normally things were just opening automatically when I did this sort of thing, and now it's making me have to double click it just to. Oh, a Chani heavy armor. Nice. Rumble Angels like, kill this bitch! You talking about the little girl? I can't kill the little girl. I'll I would smack her if I had if I got the chance, but not kill her. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> uh Angel saying if you know the if you know the lag order, Twitch, Kick, Rumble, and Odyssey, you can uh, you can click on the different tabs and watch the same the same clip four times in a row. <laughs> Noise, noise. Funny, some of the Gamorians will attack me, but not all of them will. Man, he does not like me. Doesn't like me at all. <laughs> Equal opportunity, says Angel. <laughs> fair enough fair enough you're right gotta be gotta be equal Asian gang is holding out.
All right, I know that side is completely empty. Better make sure this side is also completely empty so I can get the, the kid out of here. Filthy Trando. Well, I tried to mind trick him, but for some reason it didn't work. I highly doubt a freaking trend uh, Gamorian has the uh, mental fortitude to withhold the the mind trick, but whatever. Hey, you're back. Thrash him. Well, thanks. She wanted to see us kill somebody. Interesting. Oh, the exchange is now done for. I wonder if that other group is still running around or if I got them all killed. <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to. inadvertently caused a bit of a rift here.
This house is clear. <laughs> Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Yes, and look where I ended up. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. Greatly appreciate that. No problem, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Angel is saying if you could have any three wishes you want, but had to do Lizzo, would you do it? My God. My, my, my God. Ah. Uh. Whew. Now I'm going to have to think about this one because you're saying any three wishes I want, but I have to do Lizzo. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a tough one considering I, there, there's a lot of weird shit that surrounds that, 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 that whale of a person. Oof. Thank you so much for returning my Adana to me. I done good. Hey, thanks for saving me. Anytime. Life's been easier since someone wiped out the Sirocco. Did you find us a pilot yet? Please. Life is much easier without the exchange pressuring us. I do what I can. God, ah. Uh... <laughs> Angel, you could wish you didn't do her, but you still would. You'd still would know. I, I guess that'd be the thing. Like, if I could uh, wish to have that memory erased from my mind, but, like, then that's a wish, a wish wasted. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you, Skarbatar. <laughs> Saying, this is an easy question. Instead of Lizzo, you need to do Corlock. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah, no. I I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, not go near that one. Yeesh. Why, Skarbatar? Why? Look, what the hell was I doing? God damn it. Thanks for taking care of Sockwash. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. Only if we enter their territory and make... You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Well, that's good to know. Hopefully the... Although the Sirocco, I'm wondering what's going to happen with them, considering, like, it is. I I didn't see him when I ran in here. <laughs> you cheeky fucker. Okay, uh, I've helped the refugees. Although I didn't find the person that the one guy was telling me about. That's supposed to be in here.
you want to find out what's going on, talk to Husef. Talk to Husef. Husef, Husef. You saved us all from that horrible plague. I really am the best. I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Then I took a blast to the knee. Another refugee. Oh, here we go. I'm sad Founder. to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi Civil War. L Lutra's here? Please, you must help me get to him. L How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free pack to him. It's almost too good to be true. You've given me my husband back, stranger. I'm setting right my with that one went wrong. Thank you. <coughs> How am I doing on that light side, by the way? Oh, look at me. I feel like I should have shouted my power levels over 9,000 or something, but I just didn't think it was fully appropriate. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's move a little faster. How about that? Force channel. Channel that force. Oh yeah. Um, 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 uh, let's boost that force armor all the way. What? You have gained new force powers. You must select. I know. That's not. There. Jesus Christ. Dang old lady Kraya. Oh, all right. I wasn't sure if she's going to be able to get the uh, next force power for heal. So I thought she would have been uh, Ixenade since she doesn't get to actually go up the light side tiers. For some reason, I thought mm, that was going to be kind of locked to it, but thankfully it's not. I don't know why I thought that, too. I just, I'm like, yeah, that's probably going to be the thing that they're going to do to you. It wouldn't have surprised me. Angel saying, Force Channel gets sold to a porn company when D <laughs> Disney finds needs the money. Oh, no. 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 It's so sad when these things happen. Alrighty, people are all leveled up now. We've leveled up. Static saying, sometimes I impress myself, made the very wise decision to vacuum seal everything in there and that helped maintain the mess so much. Nice, very good, good to hear it. Good when you're playing certain things ahead of time like that and going, you know what? Or just at least, uh, yeah, t uh, taking caution for, for foods and preserving them like that. 
All worked out in the end. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, damn it. That's right. I should have brought Atten down here since we already got the little court people discussing him. I should have had him with me. Let's see, three bricks of spice out to Elysia, then with a the turnaround, um, no, no, that won't work. Ah, uh, come back, here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for, uh, well, not now, anyway. The genius shall be long, the raw inch, a free malast and dosh, grenashki to run separate the fans to go milky. Yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um, I had no choice. These, uh, these thugs showed up and, uh, they said that you could go space yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse. And... Uh, Someone's trying to board us. <gasps> oh no! Shenanigans! Oh no, this poor guy. <laughs> Finally, my ticket off this hole. Looks like it's been through hell. It's good to be back on the old girl. Hey, what are you doing on my ship? Damn right I am. What are you... Oh! Well, there's some shenanigans going on at my ship. I must protect my ship. Uh... My ship! I got something? What have I got? <laughs> okay, hang on. I I've got to share that. Give me just a moment here, folks. Uh, that's too good not to share. Uh, where? Scarvatar just sent me this. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kiati Mundi getting done dirty. Uh, but. I just love that you got the <laughs> my my version of the exile down there at the bottom. That was freaking great, freaking great, Skirvatar.
Always your uh, memory is very appreciated. Thank you, sir. Oh, I went to the wrong docks. God dang it. I swear I know where I'm going. Oh, there it is. Duh. Where'd you go, idiot? Spare a few credits, friend. Ah, uh, okay, here. Much appreciated, friend. Life's hard in the refugee sector, and this should go a long way to helping. Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Now, Shadar can be a rough place and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I would appreciate that. Out. If I hear anything, I think you might want to know. Suck it, Scalies. Oh, I don't know if I should be saying that. Only good trained ocean's a dead one. Much like huts. Although more so with the huts. The huts are they they they, they need a solution and they have to be dealt with. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? I was pretty sure I was keeping an eye on my health. I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh, God dang it. party kill this time just i got i got ta i got taken down for a moment <laughs> yeesh but i survived i will survive all right before i go into that madness in the ship Give me a moment here to collect myself and my force points. And Kraya's force points too, yeesh. Hers is pretty burned out as well. I had no idea I was, I was taking hits that hard. I thought for sure I was doing just fine. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. Alright, save really quick. Thankfully, they haven't started charging me yet for saving. That will certainly be the shit of it. as Jedi support. trying to readjust my character not going and chat with the boss so be it prepare yourself Think the no absorbs energy. Mandalorian melee shield. There we go. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Yay! The ladies are here. There's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> the ship. Whoo! It's all yours. Consider it a gift, all right? Didn't know you were messing with Red Eclipse slavers. Guess those stories about the Hawk being a cursed vessel are true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I accept your gift. Be careful in the future. Great. I'll uh, just find my way out, all right? God damn. Oh, this is, I think, has uh, entered the ship.
Oh! Why does it keep... No! Oh, okay, so it... Oh, come on! What the fuck? Like, I was doing nothing to her. Jeez. I don't even have my own lightsaber yet. Wah. Not fair. The power of n yeah, I am I am the power of none. <laughs> what have you done to my crew? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to make a little quick save just for <laughs> getting the battle started, Jesus. Jesus. Oops. Uh, keep bonded. 
go for that and let's go for Ooh, regeneration. Yeah, let's do that. Um I just want my lightsaber and I want to be able to kick their butt. That'd be... <laughs> Wait, I already brought that one up. The power of none. It is very, very true right now. Oh, God. Shows that. Don't even have anything else. I just want my lightsaber. Not that that's gonna help me any. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I will try the Sith War Sword. Maybe that'll do me some better. Some better good. Yes, Sparta Chris, I died. Okay, I died. I've died multiple times already to this, to, to Vissus here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dear Skirmitar, Dormammu, I've become the bargain. Yeah, five times in a row. God, thank you, Skirmitar, for keeping, keeping count. I appreciate that. So if you want to count it at six technically considering I died outside the ship my character alone not the whole team Just my character did get taken down, but we made it into the ship took out all the trend oceans We were good, uh, but now this has been just directly killing just me So technically six times altogether so far I got my dual wielding now. I, you know, Spartacus, you you ain't wrong. I, I am not worthy of a lightsaber. I am not. Oh, 
Oh, come on! No, oh, I almost... Ah, oh, damn it! I thought I... I thought I could just hold out. I thought I could. I should have ran away again. I should have done some more retreating. Some more tactical retreating. Man, it is like as soon as that, st uh, as soon as my my uh, stuff just completely drops off of uh, drops off, it's just like man, she just eats through any defenses that I have. At least it seems like I can do this. I can run back. Re re recuperate go back to the fight fight her a little bit more i'll retreat again recuperate and just repeat this seems to be working uh i'll do what i can to win and the game is allowing me to do it Let's go pop that, pop that. Horse armor, valor. Stupid, why aren't I using this longer, better shield? Go, let's go. My lightsaber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. I will not kill you. The alternative you. is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Well, damn. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. 
I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. <laughs> Sk Skirmitar is going right for spacing her. Wow. Hmm. But she, the thing is, is I have not obtained any uh, enemy intel from her yet. So spacing her would not be valuable at this time. If I can get information out of her, then I've gotten a win. But if, I mean, hey, if I were to get no information out of her, absolutely. Out the airlock she goes. She is a threat to us. I am not asking that she be harmed or interrogated, but she is of the Sith, and she has attacked us once. She should not be allowed to walk freely on the ship. Yeah, but I'm a boss. <laughs> I've gotten both dark side and light side points out of that. All right. I'm still a goody two shoes. Uh, which part? What the the spacing her out, out the airlock is not the Jedi way. That is, you are correct, Spartacus. That is true. But you know. Times of war and all that. We are, we are up against the Sith. But you're not wrong. Hidden compartment. Hidden compartment. Why didn't I know about this? I should, I should. Headed into these quarters a long time ago. God dang it. My life for yours. My life for Iyer. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I... I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. The scars are many and the cause is equally so. It is of no importance. I... How did you find you. me? heard you through the force it was like a sound at the edge of hearing and when i heard it i found i could not ignore it i serve my master i am an emissary a scout my master was aware of a disturbance in the force but was unaware of its nature of you the disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. If ready? I you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I 
I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed, now that I have found you. I cannot sacrifice what I have found. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. There's a, a greatness. Here. Damn right, there's a greatness to me. A greatness that does sure, not Sure, I have six deaths force. right now, but I'm still awesome. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the force. It is not a subject which influence success. All right, since its destruction, the planet was not destroyed, it remains, it orbits dead in space, but nothing lives on its surface. It echoes, but there's no one left to hear it. Brutal. I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the force had been bled from the world. I imagine there are worse deaths, worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. I've heard tales of Malachor. Malachor is brutal. Many of my people felt the end of the Mandalorian Wars from across the galaxy. But do not mistake me. I did not mean to draw comparisons between Qatar and Malachor. My homeworld still exists. It is intact. I will answer what I can. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time. But there are others who may move more freely. Who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. There are many factions within the Sith. All seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi, everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I will answer what I can. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you 
It is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. Vistas has the limited ability to see the Force. She has Foresight in first person mode and can also use it as a Force power by spending Force points. My master. Sweet. Showed me my world. Showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the Force as I once did. But after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident, both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? Uh... You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say. But it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homework before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. I follow anime rules there with the power of friendship. We can defeat dreams. all, including God himself. The planet itself. <laughs> Very well. Perhaps we shall speak more of this at another time. But know this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. Influence gained! Uh, Skirmitar had said, according to the latest studies, you can survive space for a minute or more. Ten seconds in the airlock would unlock her tongue for sure. Holy shit. <laughs> um, damn. A, I didn't know that. B, that's brutal. C, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> that would certainly do the trick, right? <laughs> oh boy if only i was playing my dark a dark cider damn um spartacris says it, it's a smuggler ship uh smuggler ship you didn't think there was any hit no it wasn't that i didn't know i didn't think there would be any hidden compartments this is more i didn't know that one that one in particular was right there um like i for some reason felt like i should have been told like a need to know sort of thing like i already knew about this one here i already unlocked it and everything this compartment but it's not, i guess that one's not secret and i was like wait was that there in kotor one i'm like i don't remember that being there because i wasn't bugged mission enough times so uh, yeah i uh, that's just more like huh and especially with it having like 400 credits and stuff like that that would have been good to know to grab for my for, uh, for myself. <laughs> yes. Training is something reserved for certain cast members. Teach me time. fighting! But I do not see the harm in instructing you in some basic principles. I do not understand how you and Atris fight, but I will instruct you how <sighs> Chani children are raised on warfare. All Ichani fighting principles rely on foundations. If one does not understand the most basic of fighting moves, it is not possible to understand the higher tiers. It is similar to learning the alphabet of a language before being able to use words, then sentences. As a foundation, I will instruct you in our elementary movements. The body itself is the first weapon you must master. It is not something that can be described. Let us duel, you and I, and that shall teach you more than my words can. 
Use only your hands and feet to strike at me, nothing else, or our combat shall be over. Do not resort to using any items or any force techniques you may possess. Such things will obstruct learning. Got it. Very well. I shall match Whoa. my movements to resist your efforts. Uh, and do not hold back. Holy shit, she was like teleported you. out of her clothes. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 bitch. What was that about no items? Damn, I guess I need to unequip her of her damn items. She's going to use them. You fought well, but you announce your motions before attacking, sometimes quite loudly. Take as long as you need to recover. And if you wish, we shall fight again. Of course, I do not wish to be hurt. If you wish to hurt me, then you must try harder. It is not a contest of raw strength, but of action and reaction. I am taking away that equipment from you, lady. How dare you? There we go. I'm keeping my items. Fuck you. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. All right, I'm all healed up. Yes. Let's try this again. I am trained that. Tra I uh, it is as a it is you. Very. Yeah, I'm a lot different now. fought well indeed you have caught the principles of the style by watching and anticipating my movements before you go there is something i must know why did you go back face trial i see it was always something i was curious about to walk to one's own sentence willingly it's a brave thing All right, back into my clothes. It's cold on the ship. No, I had earned something else. There we are, yeah. Uh, Sparta Chris has said, that's, uh, that's a horrific pain to suffer, feeling the amount of loneliness and vacant sensations. Yeah. Uh, Sparta Chris saying, what is this? The beginning of a porn? <laughs> <laughs> I, we're, uh, you, you caught the end. It's where we already put our clothes back on and move along. You missed it. Befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel... The empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. In saving her, you may destroy yourself and do not mate with her. 
Whatever you may feel, whatever urges consume you, do not let them control you. Such a union would breed difficulties. No. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just because I saved her doesn't mean I was going to going to charge her up her loading ramp. <laughs> we shall see. I trust your exile has taught you restraint and discipline in the ways of the flesh. Like the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Perhaps I am not convinced. Just because you're just a stick in the mud there, Kraya. Did he? And what do you make of that? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone, vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. Someone wants this sector of the galaxy blind to the force so they can move freely or strike without warning. I fear warning. you are right. And I fear it may prove more than that. War is a hunger. And there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully. She may reveal more. Spider Chris says, no, I saw everything, man. The fight leading into the full action. Three minutes, man. Seriously? No wonder Revan was a better Jedi. What do you mean? All you had to do was dangle Basil in front of Revan and he was all simping on that stuff. What are you talking about? Security system? What? I see you. Almost seems a bit pointless. I don't know what it is, but you look different. It's hard to explain, but it's, uh, it's good to see. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it, too. Sparta Chris saying he's able to play last longer and please the ladies. How dare you? How dare you? I, I just giving her a, a, a slight taste of the action. You, you don't give him the full. You got you to ease into it. Ignore me as I try and cope a bit, okay? God. All right, got to get back to the shenanigans here on our show. All right. Have I found any more? Needs I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. <laughs> then you understand my restlessness. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. Peace is a lie. lie. You have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? <laughs> Sparta Gris saying, ripping it off like a band aid. Yeah, something like that. Mostly, I was angry. Angry about what I had done, about why I had done it. I decided I'd do something constructive. 
I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka Damn, Zerka. on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything. Oh, he's up to no good. All I wanted to do was send a message, but I couldn't even do that right. That's the past, though. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else I can help you with? Sure do, General. I've made a few while I wasn't working on the ship. Here you go. Just remember, the best shield is not getting shot at all. Something else I can help you with? Sweet! Uh, let's bring Atten with us and let's... Say the word. Okay. Snake attack? Let's get him the heavy armor. Mando battle armor can't go wrong.
If that's the best thing to give him. Let's see. Hey, watch where you're pointing that. Got her all equipped, got me back all equipped. Let's go, so pumped. And what did he want? Not much. I just wasn't it's around the corner too. Really? Interesting. Oi, come. Hey, where'd she go? Haven't heard anything more. Don't waste my time. I've got a transport to catch. Ah, <laughs>
All right, Atten, time to get you uh, ganged up on by a bunch of pissed off uh, refugees. Want to find out what's going on? Talk to Hussein. Dozi non saba. Dozi non saba. Din yo go juju be here. That was so kind of you. To I used to serve in the Mandalorian War. Well, I guess that moment passed us by. Static asking, are they refugees though? I mean, that is the bigger question, isn't it? But unlike the refugees we know of, these ones are actually trying to get back to their home worlds, as far as I am aware. Docks area. Interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? Jeez, you're obnoxious. Yes, but no work for pilots while ships get hijacked. The Ethorian? Nothing to talk about. He paid docking fee. He go. Power cells, you say? Hmm. I have an idea. 
Pylons need new power supply. If Thorian gives Fasa some power cells, and Fasa let him go. Agree? Don't worry about it, human. Fasa and Lassavu can talk. You go tell him? All right, I'll go tell him. Great, good. What else? As far as Chris said, so many worlds destroyed in the last 50 years, so many lives lost, so many people displaced. Mandalorian's crusade that tried or that tied into the Cat Krath Holy Crusade. Uh, that tied in with one of the Onderon Sith uprisings and into the uh, Great Sith War against Exar Kun and Ulit Keldroma. Then you have the Mandalorian Neo Crusades followed by the Jedi Civil War and now this. Yeah, the Star Wars universe is not without its conflicts, that's for gosh darn sure. <laughs> They just can't catch a break. All right, folks, and give me just a moment, and I'll be back in a jiffy.
describe a typical Slayer fan? A guy just would literally out of nowhere just yell, Slayer! And, you know, just, ah!
All right, I am back. Hello, hello, I'm back. Whew. Had to stretch. Been sitting here for a while. Definitely needed that. And hey, Star Wars Marvel Purist. How's it going, sir? Hopefully you're still there. Okay, what was I, let's see. I don't think I want to go in there just yet. Okay, so I better go and talk to the Ithorian, let him know what's up. Whoops, wrong room. Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. Forgot about these two. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after. Being shuttled from system to system, barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope stranger. you're much luck at what you're looking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for. strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. I'll remember that. Thanks again, stranger. Aha! All right, I'll talk to you. I, I guess the Jedi code is still alive and well. <laughs> If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Can't say I blame him for everything he's been through. Good luck, Athorian, bro. For a reason, I have a lot of work to do to manage here, right? So, what is it? Uh, hmm. What do I look like a passenger ship to you? Stop <laughs> bothering me. Okay. Damn Toy Darians. Uh 
Oh, that's funny. I never thought to look at the, uh, the combat log. Huh. So I saw that one about the junk dealer, but let's let's do huh. um... all right. They took away my ability to warp right to the ship. No. Find Kotor be that way. Fucking be that way, mate. Those are some noises coming from this guy. Let's try it. Let's try the awareness. I have a feeling you'll be satisfied with 150. Done God. Directora Cemente Binga Rukutoto and the Chucha Matasso, Benkisha Manancite, Fela Dibo not Muni Cranacada. There we need to walk away quite a while, get it, bro. Then so tell the patient to stop running. No, grab your grab. That's not a chore, Ryan. There we go. Now jump on that little argument on tune. Oh, maybe it's the. Well, there we go.
I don't know what the hell that was even about. All right, cool. She's back in her panties. That I did not Don't do. Don't you ever give it a rest? That's all her. Fine. Don't mind me. I just need to get some stuff from the cargo hold. You know the first tier of styles, but you're holding back because I am unarmed. Tell me where you were trained. What can I say? I'm a quick study. You lie. Few know the Achani styles by reflex. Oh yeah? Guess you saw a lot of the world while you were freezing your cargo hold off in the Ice Academy. Didn't you, sister? Next time I walk in here, I'm carrying a blaster. Oh yeah, one other thing. Don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been sparring with our ex-Jedi friend. This isn't some pleasure yacht. So if I did know all the Achani movements, I might know more than just the first tier, including the etiquette rituals. So keep your hands where I can see them. Fool. Shut up. <laughs> Jeez. People, people, please. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remember and then pesky the Mandalorians the needed a swift kick in the ass. Them. They were doing a lot of damage. Many people had colonies across the outer rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? I couldn't do that. It was almost as though the battle took control of me, drove me forward. It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you yes! need is a little quiet time with the workbench. Wait, what? Oh, did I? Spreadaker says, I think one of the things I'd change with this game, if I could remake it, is add voices for the player character. Uh, yeah, 
I'm kind of torn on that one myself. Like, yeah, I definitely see the benefits to it. So then like, you don't have to keep reading through everything yourself, but I don't know. Like it definitely, yeah, like Mass Effect and stuff like that has it's been perfect for it. Uh, ooh, yeah. I mean, yeah. cause then it's tough. Like you want to definitely have like the right uh, voice actor for the role and stuff like that. So I can definitely see where that would be potentially a pain in the neck to to get together. But yeah, like it, it, it wouldn't. I don't know if it'd necessarily be a bad thing. I got my lightsaber, bitches! Oh, God damn it. She's naked again. There, she's back in clothes. Damn crazy twilik bitches. Uh, <laughs> 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 
I've killed all planets before. We'll see about that rodent. I'm surprised I didn't get dark side points for that. I thought for sure I would have. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God damn it, static. <laughs> no, that that was not basil. That that looked more like an actual like guinea pig rat mix. While uh, basil looked like a looked like basically like a sea otter. Very uh, very different. Uh oh. Not who I wanted to, to use my lightsaber for the first time on, but eh, it'll do. I'm surprised there's no dark side points for that. Uh, Sparta, I still say ba the basil thing looked like a sea otter. Let me go. Let me go back and look at this guy. A bat. I mean, I guess. I guess I kind of see that too. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. Okay, I take I retract what I said. I you're right. He does kind of look like a bat. Maybe this is the noises made me think of like a hamster rat sort of noise. Kenzo UK, how's it going? Saying when I was a young lad, lesbian space witches would would have sounded pretty. It would have sounded appealing. <laughs> well, in our day, they probably would have actually done some lesbian, more lesbian shit on screen. Would have been at least like you know Showtime Skinamax tier stuff. They haven't even gotten that. They supposedly have an intimacy coordinator. Like, what was that person doing this whole time? Oh. And if I am... Just go on and see him. Man, these guys speak funny. I'll see what I can do. Static saying Basil was more like a muskrat. Huh. Kenzo, now we're talking. All right, we're on board. <laughs> I 
Alright, so I, oh, that's a Bazak den. Alright, guys, you want me to give a message? What's the damn password? Wait, I couldn't even get in. Don't you baguettes know the damn password that you can tell me? Why? What are you guys talking about? Okay. <gasps> okay. Uh, Spartacus says, I've always thought that species looked baddish since seeing him in the cantina in New Hope. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, well, yeah, like I, said, like I said, I see what you mean. I get it. Man, we just keep running into all sorts of trouble. It's part of Chris saying talked about talking about how to prepare Wookie meat. Oh, oh, the Trandoshans, right? <laughs> I'm like getting to hear that lightsaber noise now. Okay, that's right. This was just the little um, pod race thing.
Man, I kind of forgot everything that kind of goes on on this planet. forgot about that please and if I remember right there's a force power that oh if I remember right there's a force power you can get that is supposed to help you Maybe, I don't know, I think, I th hmm. But then I think I'll be fine so long as I have, yeah, the breathing mask, okay. So I got that. Trying to recall. Spartacus says Star Wars Theory posted a video on t on X t uh, Twitter talking about the lore changes for Kiati Mundi. Oh boy, uh, is he is he taking the the copium? Is he is he excusing it, or is he actually calling it out? I mean, we all uh, <laughs> that is 
<laughs> that fi- that freaking video last night of him reacting was pretty hilarious. I have a lot of work to do to manage here. Well, I'll be damned. He, uh, Spartacus saying, nope, he's calling the show shit. Is he finally starting to come around, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I mean, it's been like the big questions, like how long can you keep, just keep deluding yourself on all this, man? It's like, come on. <laughs> like I, under, I, underst I understand to a degree. It's like you, you, you try and see the best in some things, but uh, I mean, I, when it comes to what Star Wars, I said, I think I said it last night when people were talking about the, uh, the possibilities of the space balls too. And I, uh, you know, I, I shared it and I was like, you know, I don't know how you can do much more better parroting Star Wars than what Disney's already done. This is like, it's, <sighs> they've done a hell of a job basically wearing the skin suits like, God damn. I mean, they've just done everything they've could to take the piss out of it, to retcon what, what, uh, what George had established for what he had is like, whew, it's rough, man. It's rough. Uh, Spartacus says he's laughing at how Wiki Wikipedia is running around like the mini SpongeBob's in SpongeBob's head. <laughs> okay. That's a hell of a visual. Life is much easier without the exchange pressuring us. Punta Chivita Inca Kikraya Nachawanga Kone. Since I, 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 like I said, I can only guess the visual. I haven't watched, I've never watched SpongeBob, so. Because that was after my around. time of watching <laughs> Impressive. that kind of made things easier for us programming now. entertainment. And I did also, you know, I stopped watching a lot of TV and I just did not catch a lot of other animated shit. Uh, With the Seracol wiped out and the exchange driven from this area, <laughs> it's not an issue anymore. You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. I feel like my uh, my exile would have acted kind of like Shepard when he 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 runs into the uh, the Volus that is just completely tweaking out. And he thinks he's a <laughs> he's a biotic god, and he can eventually just just uh, tell him to just, like go after all the all uh, go after the enemy force up ahead. And then Shepard just goes charge in the most <laughs> dull way. He's fucking <laughs> like he's okay with it. He just doesn't care. He just wants to screw you little dope head Volus out of his sight. <laughs> and that's how I kind of felt with the uh, Sirocco gang or whatever. So it's like, charge. Go after that north section. See what you can do, boys. <laughs> Uh, Spider says Star Wars Theory is the biggest Star Wars channel out there and I commend him for trying to keep hope but you need to wake up at some point and Disney is burning all these bridges is a nice wake up it, I mean I guess it's a better late than never you know uh, sort of sort of situation for sure and yeah it, good on him for for trying to keep the hope going as long as as long as you can but 
Yeah, I, man. I don't know. I, I mean, I. <laughs> Just from all the changes that was going on and stuff, like I, I, I saw like part of it too. Like I tried. I, I, I myself like when they first like discontinued the uh, the EU. I was like, oh fuck. But I was like, okay, maybe they're gonna try and restructure some things, you know? Um, start doing those, doing like addi the additional movies and then trying to adapt some of that content and maybe just kind of, you know, just kind of reintroduce, kind of get things into a strong, sh stronger timeline structure and everything like that. But oh no, no, no. Uh, there was none of that. That's for damn sure. So, and uh, like it was my for my my point of just like, well, <laughs> peace, peace, bitches, was Rogue One and just how yeah we got Kyle and Jan Orr's completely snubbed. I'm trying to think of where I need to go next. Oh wait, yes, yeah, right now I know. Okay, okay, I gotta find a vendor, see if there's anybody else selling more breather masks. Get everybody equipped with them and then see if I can go into that place a little easier. I had to buy the HK control cluster. Had to. All right, damn, there's nothing else there. Angel says, LOL, when I go to Twitch support page, it freezes on me. Guess they don't want to hear it. Oh, no. A blue gray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, Oh, crap, I forgot that forgot what the hell that one was called. I want to say Duros, but I don't think that's correct.
right, let's save really quick and I'll do a race for funsies. Why not? <laughs> So pumped, let's go. I did not know what was going on. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. God, I completely forgot the just how obstacle coursey these great these tracks were. That was a terrible accident. Oh, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, Angel saying I haven't figured out how to get them to remove people from my expired subs yet. Oh, so I'm working on it. Gotcha. How goes the stream? So far, so good. We're still, still rocking and rolling. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell to go next. You're away for a while. Yep. No worries. No worries. Uh, saved the whole refugee sector. Got the exchange and the circle groups out. We're good. Yes. Yeah, speed. <laughs> Ma, he go, go. Ma, he go, go. Ma, he go, go, go. Uh, static saying fracture doesn't have enough metachlorines to be pot racing. I guess I don't after that sad display. Ins his insurance goes up by 150% since Angel. <laughs> yep. Yep. I am now into a whole new premium. Let's go. Let's go again. This is worse. Oh my God. Oh my God. Damn it. That was worse than my first one. Spartacus saying no, he doesn't. <laughs> I raced well. What are you talking about? That was horrible. I'm leaving. I'm demoralized.
I am filled with shame. Filled with so much shame right now. That was so bad. <laughs> yeah, Sparta, they're probably going to have to. <laughs> exactly. He says all those dents and scratches, they'll have to bill you for that. Yep. It's not good. So you know what? I'm going into the poison infested den. Dawancha mori kun soba, mawani din chori ki sodu soba renwa, dorjine soba wata. Kavadumpa mo sora ku pa eli abontenya, dati mo tu gamsa, da hirembe wana kum paile mo kata, ta kom taktus mi ki mogu. Kavadumpa mo sora ku pa eli abontenya, dati mo tu gamsa, da hupa botenya go tu tu viti, doverin incharem taban in socho. Dati mo tu gamsa, ka wana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora, ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yu malikba, shanek ma winbo klelenko so baramwe. Ka wana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora, ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yu malikba, shanek ma winbo klelenko so baramwe. Moga chi nor da hirembe wanachi, ka ti mogo klavo. Drum Pabanakaras Mangra, Kalalava Dumba, Compile Mokata. Adarabinu Koso Baramwe, Masako Chiro, Tutuviti, Prem Gamsa. I discover you're lying to me, Devil Horns. I'll be back for you. Spider Cross saying, Looks like you have a mechanical face hugger on your face without the legs. Yeah, I kind of see that. So we were a clip about that and entered Lurin said that under male rape. Manama trade us over Barak to Dun. Krishna men tru gre baba no flang tru na saganich grava we no ku se da bate bate dra winsto so potu ten elia prim patata dra winsto der winto runto wake re ku e wafa ter da na chinga rada na fera rampada no da ringtada nel kemara chela fi bornu bodat dosene karamala blue rinse de na mel rebe we chin chin kranak tada go so ne krana nanki krana nanki
Well, that's gonna get me nowhere. It would be funny if like taking all those chemicals did eventually remove the status effect on these on these areas. Stay silent. I didn't want to talk to you anyway, you filthy weak way scum. Weak way, as this is the rhyme with scum. I guess I wasn't meant to be in here just yet. Oh, I can take off the face hugger brief mask. Thank you. 
You You're not from here? This go to for Fine, but you hurry up. Yes. What? Yeah. Why you speak with exchange, huh? No matter. You do not decide when to speak to them. Exchange decide to speak to you. Fast I heard they're not so happy with you. <laughs> best you not to speak to them. Oh, Bitchy aliens. I'm feeling a bit of a loss here. I spoke to the hut. I s Where are you going to speak to? We got what's in here? Nothing. I'm an awesome freaking Jedi man. What the hell? I should get all them bitches. So, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you. What backwash are you looking for? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you, uh, catch my meaning. Well, our kind isn't exactly the majority on this planet. But there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, swoop races, the jet jet tar, they're pretty much taken care of. Yeah, the Pazak Den is a glorified social club for hardline Pazak players. It's exclusive, though, with a guard at the door and a password needed to simply get in. Don't know why you'd want to get into that place. Bunch of Firaxa shots will strip you clean of your credits, especially the jump. 
Who is this champ? He only shows up to play people he deems worthy enough. He'd just have to beat about everyone in that place before he'd even think of coming out of hiding. Now there's a place that's literally deadly for our kind. Jet Jet Tar is a bar filled with cyanogen gas. It's poisonous to you and I, but the aliens drink it up and pay good money to do so. The cyanogen gas also acts as a social buffer, since the people who typically frequent Jet Jet Tar aren't interested in speaking to the likes of you and I in the first place. Rude. Ah, don't bother with Lupo's racing gallery. The track's deadly and the betting's awful. Borna Liss keeps threatening to take the place over and run it right. Well, I don't see how she could. Taracho mo sincho kava volpa muleji gumana minta barawamba miche dos kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosana nansata unta chiwita inka kikraya na chawanga kone dobre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana muta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosana nansata da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune takome tak blaia justing miki go go beaste kun grabi la king no mulara kichi kuta grasa kisha Que chubo grayo bog no cada etapa tiza don merinita chawana masorin que chajuta na cut bawamba bawaja ji morami zurata dobre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana muta chone murlera Don King e bano gianzaka nicarasca. Tanja nick de mawimbo granda mi bilan. I don't see the point of it right now, considering I've already gone and talked to Voga too. I must know. I'll find. Talk about eating Wookiee meat all you want. Whoa, wait. Let me. Uh, Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get dark side for kind of threatening him in a way. Oh, hello. You have caught me at a rare time. Usually there are many players who seek to play, but you are fortunate to have caught me at a moment of quiet. I 
I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Pazak player. I'm afraid protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Pazak and probability. Everyone's ready to play Pazak. I want information, dang it. Not for sure there's something to do in there, but I don't have any handouts for you. Go bother someone else. Wow. Yes, have you come? Very well. What is it that drives you? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. 
When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Very well. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. Listen to my words. Hear the sound of the handmaidens training in the cargo hold. Her hands cutting the air. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. <laughs> now, stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen. Past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and you are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only. Hey, Melee K, how's it going? Masters have trained for for years and never learned. Just having a lecture from old Kraya here. Big dog Jake over on the Twitch side saying, follow the channel, nerds. Thank you, sir. And <laughs> big dog Jake says, hello, Charisma from Twitch. Yep, admit have K over on the YouTube side. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen it to is the not. of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. You've gained one plus awareness and recovered some of your connection to the force. All right. Jake, Melee K says hi back. <laughs> if you're still over there on Twitch, that is. Okay, <laughs> Cray Electric, Cray Electric? Wow, imagine my shock. I know, right? Normally she's such a sweet old granny handing you delicious cookies. Be like, oh dear, don't worry yourself now. Just take a rest. Take a rest now, don't you know? What? But I got another part. I want to get res Oh, phooey. You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Jake on Twitch said, yeah, I hope she is well. I <laughs> do... Do pop around to make sure I tell all the nerds to leave and leave likes. Yep, you do. Oh, and now Jake's over on the YouTube sides. Saying, hope everyone is well. Most certainly, sir. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. <laughs> All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, that's a surprise. 
Did he say I owed him credits too? <laughs> he says you're not atting at all that you showed up on Narshida during the Jedi Civil War. Would you like to tell me about I'm this? I'm as atten as atten will ever be. <laughs> I'm the atness of atten. Is, he's right. I did show up on Narshida during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking. Nothing about you it. want to tell me. If Nothing I at all. To tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? Uh oh, he's starting so to get. He's starting to get a little Karth on us right now. Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for, rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off Dragas. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian War. Well then ask not me, once. bro! I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor Five. Melee casing, right go back to being base, damn it! <laughs> Don't become Karth the Cuck! <laughs> How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Yeah, go on. Let's hear it all. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved it. Ooh. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie. And they manipulate. And every act of charity or kindness they do. Okay, they and show us on the doll where you felt like the Jedi touched you. Is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are <laughs> except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached. All right, influence success. <laughs> Because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. <laughs> hey, Real Wade Nation Gaming, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, he must have come from the Acolyte Show. <laughs> Uh, also said if we may, if they make KOTOR, we riot. Uh, dude, they're already trying with the remake, but thank God that seems to be in developmental hell. Because I followed orders, but it was more than that. You were there. You knew how easy it was to hate the Jedi who sat back in the Republic evaluating the threat and watched us die against the Mandalorians? Because you can't believe in the Republic anymore after the Mandalorian Wars. After Revan, nothing was the same. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors. 
because it was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars, more than anything. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The slaughtered millions. them like animals! You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors on the <laughs> orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war, and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. If that's what you want to call knowing when to fight and when to kill, then yes. But you can't really break down people into Sith and Jedi and expect everything to make sense. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. After Malachor, after the Oh, we're getting a lot of juicy bits. That's when the Sith Sweet. started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who came to help us. Not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose oh God. control, torturing them. Not gassing them. them. I was really good at it. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. And now we're getting some of Atten's darker side. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Yeah, I had a talent for it. More like instinct. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars. So you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them and then have them join him. One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. Ended up on Nar Shadda, became someone else. Because you've killed Jedi too. Different circumstances, but you have a bigger body count than I ever did. And I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. You got history, and anyone who travels with you doesn't. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Well, there was no. a, a Jedi. 
She... she gave her life for mine. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course. Or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She told enough truth to get my attention. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the Unknown Regions. That when we captured Jedi, they were sent to a place designed to... break them. And that anyone in his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too, to turn them. To break them into Dark Jedi, or assassins trained to kill Jedi. She said that's what would happen to me. That I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi. And that when the Sith learned of it... That's how he scared. did it. No turning back. I would become an instrument of the dark side, forever. I had heard talk in the ranks, troops vanishing. I knew what she meant, but I didn't believe her, or want to believe her. I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force, in my head. And I felt everything she felt. And I heard just an echo of what the Force was. And how what I was doing, I think I loved her. But it wasn't that kind of love. It was the kind of love where you're willing to give up everything for someone you don't even know. Maybe. It doesn't matter. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. But before she opened her mind to mine, my only thought was that I would love to kill her. And at the end, I killed her because I loved her. In the end, she sacrificed herself to keep my secret. To prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of the Force inside me. She wasted her life to save me. Me. And I felt her die when she opened her mind. I've killed Jedi, like I said. But I was never there to feel it, to be on the receiving end. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience. It had been orchestrated to get close. Now it all just kept tumbling out, and I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So I left. I fled with the displaced war veterans to Nar Shaddaa and I lost myself there. Until the war came to an end. I wanted no more of Jedi, or Dark Jedi, or the Force. I just wanted to be left alone. And then, I met you on Paragus. And I thought maybe, maybe she had saved me so that I could help you. And if I can't, then I have to try. I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens, I can't let you think I was doing I it. I felt like I just played his the therapist. <laughs> Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to confront it. Because if I did, <laughs> it meant I would be changed into something else. Hey, we're getting now, uh, vital backstory information here, Jake. Come on. And I think that by learning how to use it, I can help protect you. You're not necessarily wrong. There's a little bit of whining, but otherwise... Screaming in. I've always found him a very interesting character for having that interaction with the Jedi the, the way he did. Ah, I can start training him too to be a Jedi. What must I do? Is there some, some ritual or? Free your mind. Listen to the echo of your thoughts, your heart, separated from war, separated from hate. Funny thing is, too, like, this is, like, the first time I was, I really broke into doing this aspect of the game. Because with all the other companions, I would just talk to them, but uh, I didn't always train all of them to become a Jedi. I think maybe the only one maybe was the Handmaiden, but I think she mainly stays the, well, I, well, I think you could train her to be a Jedi, too. But I mostly also then romanced her, so. Yeah. 
Atten has taken his first steps on the path of a Jedi Sentinel. He will grow in ability as he travels with you and learn uh, with you and learns what you know from the Force. That is kind of a cool. That is the cool thing about this game is how they uh, started opening up those options, opening up that ability with your. Uh, team members that uh, would be able to use the force and uh, train them up and everything. But for now, I'm going to stick with the old lady and, and the handmaid. Spider-Chris says, got to have your long monologues. That's right. I am going to kind of look at some of the old, older chat really quick. I already got the Karth the Cuck. BD Jake says, speaking of, has anyone tried to whip out Carl the Cuck? Still a few months left <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> hmm. Uh, but Kay says, no, but I was called a, a Nancy and white male yesterday. You managed to attract all the, the weirdos. And I saw, I saw one of the people you were, you were starting to <laughs> get into. <laughs> and one guy, he kept, he, well, he, he pointed out all your white male laughing gifts and stuff like that. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> there's a part of it. like my child. It's best just to walk away. <laughs> but instead, I was like, "Yeah, let's let's just throw up the popcorn and watch the 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 fireworks go." Uh, Real Aid Nation Gaming saying, "If they make Kotor show, we oh that's right, I got that one." Um, yeah, I, I really hope they never go near it. I got the Acolyte one show one. Even Kay was saying yes at, and we all hate the Jedi. It's fine. No need to cry about it. Uh, <laughs> static. I saw that. Kay, welcome to the club. I'm, yep. Uh, more members for the for the. <laughs> uh, Melee Kay saying you were inferior to the Mandalorians. That's why. Let them have their five minutes of being interesting. <laughs> And good. I wish they did more. I'm I'm a Mandalorian supremacist, not the cucked version ran by Bo-Katan's sister and later Bo-Katan, who completely failed the Mandalorian. So, yeah, uh, no, nothing but a legacy of failure with that family, it seems. And uh, yes, I am also 100% along with that. Can't go wrong with the true Mandalorians. Uh, let's see. Jake saying, uh, oh yeah, KOTOR 3 would have been amazing had they kept going with this and actually made it. Thanks, EA. Sutor is kind of cool. I enjoy the stories in there. I have, yeah, and I have said this so many times of having just such a love-hate relationship with uh, Knights of Star Wars The Old Republic. Like, there's a lot of, there, like, they had so much potential. And it's like after the the chapter three quest, the storylines, it then just starts slowly but surely becoming so just, you know, stale and homogenized into one folk into this one overarching story that it that all the classes and stuff basically lost any degree of uniqueness to them. And it's like, okay, I mean, I guess if I want to play through the story with a different skin, but that's it. It's really sad. Cause then you lose all the, th all the, I hate to say threads right now with the Acolyte show, but it is, you lose all the, you lost all the threads of, of your previous storylines. Oh, it'll be focused into the, these mainline storylines. And then when you get to Knights of the Fallen, it's kind of like they do a soft reboot. You're removed of your whole, your crew. You're starting basically fresh and everything. 
I mean, they did eventually make it you got your team back that you had, but that was also under certain conditions too. I think some of them might be finally all back together, but like some might still be missing. I don't recall exactly, but I mean, it, and there's like barely any real, any real reference to the previous storylines and stuff. Like there's been nothing uh, to kind of bring you back to what you were trying to accomplish in your original storylines. It is almost seeming like when you were on, I think Rishi, that with like the Sith warrior and Sith, um, the Sith Inquisitor, that at least the, 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 the Sith warrior was potentially cat was at least kind of shown this, the signs of breaking out on onto their own. You did get a visit from the some members of the 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 Emperor's hand, but also ah uh, I forget his name. He's one of my favorites too. One of my favorite the one of the favorites of the Sith Lords. Was it Valoron? Thank you, Chiefster Valoron. Love that guy. He was freaking great. Um he kind of got brought into it and then like it was everything just kind of went away after the whole Revan arc stuff. The Sith Inquisitor, I believe was working towards the secrets of immortality, which then I think does kind of lead into what we got with, uh, Valkorian and stuff and the emperor. But even then that was kind of like it was for the inquisitor themselves. It just goes away. Which is, un again, unfortunate. Because I would have been much more interested in seeing those storylines oh, excuse me, pay off down the line. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, it just feels like such wasted potential. Because it could have been, it could, I mean, could be such a, and now like they're just going like full like they're removing a lot of the voice dialogue for your character and kind of going to a lot of the kind of the KOTOR one and two pick your dialogue uh, stuff, which is again, unfortunate, but it just seems to be the path they're taking with a lot of the new, it, they've been having like a few things. Yes. You have a few dialogue choices. Your character speaks, but I got the feeling that stuff's going to go away pretty soon. Maybe not entirely, but certainly it'll be text-based more than voice-based after after a time. And Jake says, K nearly started a riot yesterday in one where some guy just kept going on and on about response gifts. Good Lord, dude. I think that was the, yeah, I think that was the one I, I saw too. And I just, I almost wanted to, like it was for myself, I almost wanted to get the, uh, the Lord Humongous gift from a uh, road warrior and just have him just walk away. Uh, cause he, there, the only way that was all going to end was just more K laughing and <laughs> the per that person potentially just pulling their hair out. That was completed.
Kay was saying, I, I think I was too schizo for him because I kept going and then started retweeting him to the point where he blocked me. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's like, like I've noticed like that's kind of you just laugh at these people because they're not they're not going to be coming into into any of these into any of the arguments or conversations with, with good faith. So it's just sometimes it's easier just to laugh at them. And then, you know, they, they'll block and then you can move on. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, I found every si possible sim I'd get. <laughs> Sparta Chris saying, got to love the blockers when they can't win. Yep. Uh, Melee K says, yep. And then he started tweeting behind the block about how I wasn't responding. I mean, gifts are a response. So you were technically responding. Uh, Jake saying, what, what a time to be alive. Must be a laugh riot with you and James when that transpires. <laughs> For sure. Uh, you're pretty articulate for a Rodian. Okay, so she's got a thing for humans. What have you got, Rodian? Nah. <laughs> you used you used to be more brutal, huh? Okay. Oh, intriguing. Check saying you let the hate flow through you. Good, good. Sparker saying they love the block tweet. That shit is so freaking gay. Maybe one thing if they blocked and then, okay, that's the end of any conversation. They just move the fuck on. But I mean, no, that can't just be the nap. That, that just can't be the course of action. They have to then start talking behind your backs. Uh... All right, Jake, have a good one, sir. Said, I right, peace with my fellow nerds time. Do you can be good adult? God damn it. I hate that. 
Horns up, rock on everyone. Have a great rest of your stream. Great Admiral Katarn. I like the stream nerds. Thank you all around, brother. Thanks for hanging out, watching, and all that jazz. You have a good one as well. Stay safe out there. I thought we already went out. I'm a slow learner. Go get your boss. Spartacus saying, don't make the hut angry. They have the ability to eat you whole. Well, I have a lightsaber. I'll just cut my way out of that fat slug. And I've also got some thermal detonators. I'll throw those down as fat gullet. <laughs> Only good huts, a dead hut. That was the one great thing about Star Wars The Old Republic for, for the smuggler storyline was that the smuggler got if you when uh, when you're getting towards the end of the storyline you could throw a thermal down the down the throat of a hut. That was my most favorite part of that one of my most favorite parts of that game was getting to do that. I'm like, you are brilliant. Thank you, Bioware, for allowing this opportunity. You tards, I put you on solo mode. You're not supposed to be following me. Jeez. I saw a weak waist, a couple of weak waist somewhere around here. Damn it, where are they? Where are they? Still not that one.
Alright, you are freaking worthless. Malam pro tarawanji casa sam chaba gava dumba munsuru kupla li. Gavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Tayaita Tabosanana Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Tayaita Tabosanana Spartacus aliens, what can you do? I know, right? Hello, Star Wars Scran. How's it going? Saying hail, fractured filter. Hail to you, sir. Dawancha mori kun soba. Kavadumpa musora ku pa eli abontenya dachi motu. Ah, you weak way are worthless. Spider is saying, hopefully that has and isn't flammable would be a shame if uh they guess it yeah the gas is inflammable would be a shame if someone lit a match oh yeah it would that'd be quite the explosion Oh, 
I'm just feeling freaking lost right now. Uh, let's see. I guess you have to do the dance for Voga. Let me let me try and initiate some of this stuff. Like it is, I just feel like so my story this isn't progressing uh, properly. Spartacus saying weak way are so good for dumb muscle for the gangs. Yeah They aren't the sharpest knives in the drawer I have not trained in the dance, but the Ichani fighting arts are very dance-like in their movements. I do not think it would be a stretch for me to do this. <laughs> if you are sure. Really, though, I would be more than happy to do it. Mulivrawa i berendi a ti a wisnu nunga se utadi ramat mandrako tu sa minarinka din. Put this on. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura ta yaita ta bosan ansata. In that case, give it to me. And I will prepare myself. Gavadumpa Munsur Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanjiuma. Rar Tonino Bapinko Neyaka Tsuba Picha Tuna Yuma Mochinawa. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Could have been funny. Have Kraya try. Oof. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosanan ansata. 
That was a mess, mess of freaking noises. Had the little calf hounds making a noise, the damn hut, and uh, freaking, uh, it sounded like a Wookiee. It looks like she's doing the damn shepherd dance. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosananansa ta. Ento mesh mi paju watamincha yokolo unduado nukuru. Java no bafa. That's right, Scran. Spider-Cur says, funny thing, huts don't find humans attractive. They just like the status that having humans, right. Having humans serve them. God dang it. I forgot a few things for this. Apparently I forgot the Juma juice. Uh no, I'm I'm I was I was looking over part of a guide. Is it yes? I feel like I've messed up somewhere doing some of this stuff. So no, did not fall asleep. Ah. 
Ah, uh, don't say that. Don't say that. I don't have a save at the start of all this. At the start of Narshadar. Right down the middle. Back again, I see. Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do. Well, now, Jack, the sun. Oh yeah, these guys wanted me to send someone out for them. <laughs> this might not be a <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Barely affected by it. Barely affected by it. One little thing doesn't like that doesn't make me a Sith. Knock it off. You made Treya, please. <laughs> we just got this message on the comlink. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. <laughs> Oh, 
Here we go. Finally got this moving along now. Well, good thing it's not a trap. What are you talking about? It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one Sarcasm! It may Sarcasm, trap, girl! But traps work both ways. This viscous, his kind of spread through the lower reaches of Narshada and he may have information. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Ranga Donos Emeragith, wanna rock or a cheat room, ta sa in chobin sasha. Dosimana rochata. Do a maba be want to susin to mukarata. Do as fectonatada be maba chokto. Torenibu into rata si si meborokra. Machabi doko, dona ranga mana chunga. The random mosibu and dasarans. Crema sunkun ratungala. Chawi mo jubu and kosoracha. Bunch of aliens speak. God damn it. And you know what? I think before we do get kicked into all this stuff, since I even though I finally got it moving along, I think we will call it here for today. Uh, I've been going for almost six hours. Woof! Here's one of the longer gaming streams I've done. Um, but yeah, thank you all. For showing up, for hanging out with me. This has been a lot of fun playing some more KOTOR 2. Um, which I, I was hoping I was going to get off of... Uh, off of Narshida at this point, but sadly, no. But next time, there's always next time. Uh, and so I just want to say thank you, Spartacris, Static, Star Wars Scran, Star Wars Marvel Pierce, BD Jake, Melee K... Skirmitar, Real Wade Nation Gaming, Cult of Carl, who's in here also earlier, uh, Angelifinum, I think I pronounced that correctly, uh, Kenzo UK, uh, do, 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 do. I believe that was everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I played. Oh, and Crimson Raptor. Crimson Raptor was in much earlier. Uh, thank you all so much. I know. Well, I was doing, I did a bunch of the side quests, Spartacris. I did a bunch of the side quests. Uh, so all that walking around to just start one thing. I know, right? But I got a lot of the side quests done and all that jazz. So at least that that's, that's going along. Uh, I, tomorrow I should, I'll kick my ass to start. Uh, and get into the whole thing with Goto and all that and get off of Narshida and go ahead, pick the next planet, hopefully. So, um, again, thank you all for hanging out, showing up, doing all the all the fantastic things for it and keeping me entertained as well. Hope you were entertained. And, yeah, so with that... 
I'll say uh, bye bye. Good night. Good day. All that jazz. Later.